So for 2010 to 2020, my prediction is the United States goes broke in 2016. But I've been saying this for years, I could be wrong, <laughs> but I think if that happens in 2016, if America goes broke, everybody goes broke. So for those that are prepared, it will be a very good time. But for those who are not prepared, there will be a lot of like rioting. Yes, well, today yes, there's yes. rioting all over the world. Yes, the U.S. is rioting because there's no money. Uh, what it is is the end of what they call the welfare state. It's, it's the end of communism, it's the end of socialism. But we don't know if it's the end of capitalism. So I would rather be a capitalist today than a socialist or a communist. Like my poor dad, as a school teacher, he was communist. You know, he yeah. says government should take care of me. Well, governments are broke. That's the problem. It's not that the governments don't want to take care of people. The government's broke, the taxpayers are broke, and the rich got richer. Yeah. So, for those of you who know my philosophy, I'd rather yeah. be on the side of the rich than on the other side. So, that's what I talk about. In Spain, the middle class is gone. Yeah. In uh, Greece, it's gone. Uh, Ireland, God. I think England is in very big, very very bad shape. The United States is in worse shape. And if America goes, it's not just the EU; it's the whole world. But Sweden is doing well, you know, the Swedish yeah. currency and the Swiss franc, Swedish crown and Swiss right. franc are doing well. Yes, so far, but we don't know about the future. So, so. what's your advice, Robert? all those middle-class people that we are, you know, playing cash flow with. And <laughs> I always say, you know, your best, your best asset is your brain. Your brain, yeah. You know, what I do is different than other people do. Yes. Uh, I've always used debt to get rich. Most people cannot use debt to get rich. But it takes education to do that. Yeah. And so for most people, you know, gold or silver is still the better deal. Yeah. Except in America, taxes are very bad on gold. So. so it just depends upon the person. I think that's going to be a great time. For those who know what to do. Yeah. But the reason I live in Phoenix, Arizona is I can carry a gun. I have what many guns. <laughs> and a lot of silver and gold. And a lot yes. of silver, gold, guns, food, you know, and all this. So food will always do well. Yes. Water will do well. Yes. Oil will Oil do will well. Do. You know, it's just the basic commodities will do yeah. well. I think the idea of currency is dead. It's finished. I, you know, when people say, "Do you invest in the Swiss franc or the uh, EU?" Yes. I mean, yes. the, the euro. euro. I said, yeah. "No, I invest in gold and silver because they're international money." Yeah, that's true. And that's how I kind of look at it. It's very simple. It's not the most sophisticated. But that's what I think. I think America has caused one big problem. I read Rich Dad's prophecy, I said we have to 2016. Yes. And then it's going to be good again. It's wow. going to crash. Well, let's hope, yes. Let's and crash. Then, and then, well, if we then survive, those who survive, yeah, survive, yes, survive, they, yeah. they, can, yeah, they will be the winners. Yeah. So it's exciting times. Yeah, exciting times. Thank you very much. Thank you.